Okay, welcome back YouTube. Super late video for me. Um, I made a couple mistakes earlier in doing this fight. And in addition to that, it was really hard to find a 2B friend, so I just bailed and relearned the fight with Sephiroth. We should be able to do it fine with Sephiroth. It's going to be a little bit harder, but it should be fine. Um, basically, I geared... I'll post the link to the FFB Builder gear in the description. But just a quick overview. Lids build for limit break. Uh, Seagrant's built full tank. I want to make him auto provoke because auto provokes me very very important in this fight um so i'll make him have moogle plushie and wrapped gif where's moogle plushie too auto provoke is super super helpful like actually super helpful because the 19 percent threshold i will know that my tank dies you cannot re-raise him he'll get died he'll die and no none of my dps will and it should be fine so i would really recommend having an auto provoke tank if you can um, CG Nicole's just has my anima and he's gonna be healing and stuff. Fiend has Lakshmi for stop resist. Two of the Sephiroths are light element and they're built for man eater. And I believe Zitashi even took it a step further and put some fire resist on. Um, you don't need the fire resist, but like I can throw some on too if I need to. I'm just gonna prefer to run with this. I could take colorful layoff maybe and do bomb engagement ring. I can throw some fire resist on. Because the fire resist helps with the AoE fixed damage, and it just it just helps. So if you want to throw up fire, if you want to throw some fire resist on your units, perfectly fine. Um, it's not a hard fight. You gotta really pay attention to what she's doing. There is a little bit of an RNG check here. Um, the only set that's really bad is set two, and there's a twenty percent chance to get into it. Because then you really have to like pay attention to what she's saying. The other sets, you can just look at the buffs of the boss. And if she has no buffs, then she's probably... Or if she has defensive buffs, then she's probably in set two, and you're probably going to cry. Okay, so basically, I can, he's auto-provoked now, so I can just defend with him. Um, Lid's my only breaker, so I have to break with Lid right away. We're going to use Super Analysis right off the get-go. I'm going to start building my AT stacks right away. Um, I would say I could probably Imperil first. No, it's fine. I'll just build my AT stacks right now. So unfortunately, well, I can still do Reunion. This should be fine. Yeah, let's do Supremacy. It's fine. And then I'll do Reunion on turn three so I can keep my Supremacy stacks. Because Sephiroth's a stacking damage dealer. We'll do like very minimum damage here. That's just for that's just for stacking. Um, Soulful Impregnable. Uh, so I'll put Mitigations up. And Fina's going to do Manitopia first turn. She doesn't really have much else to do first turn. Turn two, I'm going to do my wind damage with Lid. Uh, wind, Lid is my person that's doing lit, uh, wind damage, sorry. And we need wind for one of the missions. Um, so she's going to do wind damage. I usually heal with Fina here, but I don't think I need to. Eh, she doesn't really have anything else to do, does she? She could do Manitopia again. So I could just do that. And honestly, I could even Fortune Stance, because Fortune Stance only lasts for two turns. And that'll heal my Seaguard for more. He could throw a water... He could... I'm going to throw a water item just in case that I don't need to at some point. I'm going to do it with Fina. So that's one of the missions as well, water. So we have Wind and Water done. I could do Ice with Nicole at any point in the fight, and Sephiroth's just an AT chain. Uh, both of these Sephiroths are light weapon as well, so Anima is my only source of dark damage. And then turn three, we're not allowed to hit the boss at all. We're not allowed to guard, we're not allowed to use any limit breaks. So, next turn, I'm going to dispel them. I could either dispel this turn or next turn. I prefer to do stop resist here for my tank. This is a preference. We're, we cannot guard on this turn. If we guard on this turn, we're probably dead. We won't die, but we'll take some damage. Well, let's just not guard. She's in for Forsaken Stance right now, so we just won't guard. We're going to do um, Reunion with the Sephiroth to fill some Limit Break Gauges. Maybe even throw an Imperial out on turn 4 if he gets super high. Ooh, it's actually really close. Um, then with CG Nicole, what we want to do is... We want to get Ice Resistance up. Because Seagart's probably going to be tanking that. 
and maybe fill the limit break gauge. Can he fill Sapras limit break gauge? That would be insanely good. And someone needs to do ice damage on turn four. It'll probably be Fina. Ooh, I didn't fill his limit break gauge. It's fine. Um, we can't defend, so maybe I'll just provoke. And um, she's gonna need to break next turn, so I'll just do super dimension. Tried to fill Sephiroth's limit break gauge. He he never got it. It's fine. Oh, we just got it just then. Great. Kind of worked it better. So we're in peril with him. Um, Zitashi's gonna do supremacy for fun. Uh, my Fina is gonna throw an ice item because this turn, if you look at his buffs, turn four, he's in, he's in uh, frozen flame stance or whatever it is. We also need to dispel. So maybe she's a bad idea to do that with. Maybe Zitashi throws the ice item for me. And then we'll dispel with Fina. Maybe dispel and re-raise the tank. Or do we get to spell Karaja? Whoops, wrong wrong ability. And the spell Karaja. And basically after this turn, um, she's gonna attack you for AoE ice damage. And I'll take any stance that's not set two. Set two makes the fight more complicated. I would prefer if it didn't go into set two. So we dispelled him. And a limit break. Limit break. Ice seal and put up mitigations and buffs with Nicole. So we have a we have a good we have a good light imperil. We have mitigations and we're gonna use my Seagirt's cooling super wink. Um I know a lot of people say that Seagirt's not a reliable magic tank for a lot of fights, but it's really situational. In this fight, Seagirt can really tank the magic magic damage for you, and it's completely fine. So now he needs to switch over to physical. This is probably the hardest set. Whenever she buffs her attack and magic, it means she's in um, her set one. And that's when she does insane amounts of physical damage. I actually hate this set so much. Um, so I want to get my fire buff up with Fina. It's like my only source of fire uh, resistance. Honestly, if you have more than that, I highly suggest you use it. Um, Fina is my only as uh, source of it right now, so I'm gonna do barrier stance with CG Nicole because it's gonna be a hard one, and heroic stance. He's gonna get all my stuff right now. Next turn, I'm probably gonna re-raise with Fina even um, because this is she does butt tons of uh, she does butt tons of damage, and honestly, I might even use jamming pulse here. So we use jamming pulse. I won't remove my brakes and I won't remove my imperil. But I'll get rid of those big, big, big attack buffs that she got on. That might be super safe play for me. Because you don't you don't want them buffs to be on. That would hurt a lot. So we just did a lot of damage. It was really good. Um, we need to make sure we physical cover here, not magic cover. We did remove her buffs so we should take less damage than what I took last time uh the fire damage is the most hurtful part but we have mitigations we're good so I'm gonna do re-raise with Fina and uh we don't have any breaks up do we we're gonna need to re-break so hopefully the Sephiroth with supremacy hopefully they can build lids limit break I'm really hoping on that. We'll see what happens. Cool, we did lots of damage. I'm gonna do a limit break. Get my re-raise up. Um, everyone should have everyone should have stats buff and mitigation. So with CG Nicole, I probably I could probably throw out my anima and get my anima done and over with. I could have did that before the Sephiroths did their chaining to build more crystals, but I think it's fine. We're gonna limit break with lid and Seagirt's gonna do he's auto provoke he could probably just defend 
And then the turn after, he's gonna do Glorious Guard. He's gonna do his huge cooldown the turn after this. So set one when she's doing physical damage and fire damage, in my opinion, that's literally the hardest one. I am gonna rebuff my fire resistance with Fina this turn just to be safe. Um, and I'm gonna use the cooldown with Seagard. He should be fine to use the cooldown. He should be covering for one more turn, right? Yeah, it should be fine. Um, he doesn't have his buff on. I'm gonna do Glorious Guard. Great. And out of all the missions, I think we're still missing... I think we did water. We did water. I thought we did water. We did ice. We just gotta evoke Fenrir at some point. So I'm gonna use his cooldown. This is gonna be a beefy turn. Um, we are gonna do Divine Veil. I don't have any stop resistance up. It should be fine, though. Am I gonna do Nicole's Limit Break here? And I'm probably going to down her bomb with legs. We just did her limit break last turn, right? So if I roll, if I get a good RNG roll on lid, we'll ideally get attack out of this. We got spirit. We didn't get anything. I like, I like gambling with down her bomb. It might work out good. It might work out bad. Who knows? It's a gamble. But yeah, we, we just had, uh, we, we got rid of his buffs, which is really nice. Um, so we didn't really get hurt that much, and we only had a 45% fire resist buff out with Fina. Um, so now he's in set 3, you gotta do light or dark damage. Both of our Sephiroths are equipped with light damage, so that's completely fine. And um, we need to re-break with Lid this turn. We might even push a threshold, so... If we push a threshold, we get a free turn. And we can do whatever we feel like. These Sephiroths are doing really good damage here. But we didn't have an imperial up, so that's fine. We'll see one more face. I don't mind that. Um, and we have a limit break for next time, too. What I might do with Fina is I might do Manitopia. I'm going to super wink with Seagard again. Because we're switching uh, sets so much, Seagard's actually um, not a bad magic tank for this fight in particular. Because we're always switching between... Uh, what we need to do, right? So his cooldown is fine. His cooldown works just fine. I can use my favorite tank in the game for this fight, and it's perfectly fine. Um, he's going to be doing light damage to me. I don't know if anyone has their damage mitigation up or not. Or damage mitigation did fall off, so we need to rebuff that with CG Nicole. We're going to do Soulful. Impregnable. We'll boink it with lid to refresh the brakes. Um, I'm gonna re-raise with Fina because that's also going to imperil him a little and refresh it. I thought we didn't have the imperils up, but I guess we did. I don't know why my supremacy stacks felt like they didn't do as much damage. So now she's in Terrace Tempest Stance, but we're gonna push past 53% anyway. Um, since we're pushing past 53%, I'm assuming we can do it with our limit break. That'll be really cool. I'm gonna save my limit break actually. And we're just gonna reload and do supremacy again. Cause she's gonna put up she's gonna change stances and put up some mitigation here. So I wanna save my limit break for when that mitigation's gone. And this is basically a free turn right now. I'm gonna do Manitopia on we don't need to do Toxic Rain until the turn after the Threshold. Right now, she just switches stances. Um, so this fight is kind of easy until 19% now. Um, I'm just going to refresh buffs on Nicole. Should be fine. Um, I'm going to keep Seagirt's Limit Break. I might need it at some point. He's auto-provoked now, so he should be fine too. Um, I'm going to Super Mench my Lid. Next turn, we need to Dispel. Hopefully I can get Lid's Limit Break. I'm, again, going to keep Sephiroth's Limit Break as well. I'm going to hold on to that because if I'm dispelling this turn... Well, actually, I could Limit Break because I wasn't expecting Lid to get hers so fast. So I, I could Dispel, Re-Break, and then Sephiroth Limit Break here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Dispel. Does anyone need to be healed? We can do Karaja. Karaja should be fine. Or I can re-raise the tank. But I definitely need to dispel. No, I can't dispel. I need to blind. 
Right, okay, this is the turn after, right, right, this is the important turn. So the turn after the threshold, you blind her. She basically skips a turn now. And then we can dispel her the following turn. I'm gonna dispel her the next turn. I do not want to dispel her right now. I'm going to do Supremacy, Supremacy to keep my stacks. I'm not going to dispel her. I'm going to dispel her next turn. So if you blind her, she basically skips her turn and just does an energy cycle check. It's a good chance Seacart, not a good chance. There's a 20% chance and then a 75% chance of Seacart gets stopped. So that's like 0.20 times 0.75. Not sure what that works out to, but he might get stopped. <laughs> So I'm going to do actually Howling Moon here to get my second Esper out. Um, Lid can throw up some five turn breaks for fun. Doesn't really matter. And CG and Cole throw in some mitigations. I think we already used Barrier Stance and Heroic Stance earlier for that clutch set one. Set one is really hard. If we get set one again, it'll be so sad. But we are going to be dispelling. Demonic Time Seal. Did we get stopped? Oh, yeah, our Seagart got stopped. So now she's in a phase where she's basically not going to take damage for two or three turns, which is unfortunate. Um, my Seagart is stopped. And we should dispel. So what I might do is I'm going to dispel with Nicole. So then Fina can do her re-raise. So I didn't have stop protection up. Ideally, you get stop protection up. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to limit break. Um, limit break here. Just limit break with everybody. Um, who knows who's going to take some normal attacks right now. Honestly, I didn't even realize if she went in Forsaken Stance or Retaliation Stance. I'm going to hope it was Retaliation Stance. We're probably dead here. I'm just going to guard and lose my AT stacks. I didn't notice if she went in Retaliation Stance. Oh, she did. Okay, Retaliation Stance is way better than that the other one because if she went in Forsaken Stance last time, if she was in Forsaken Stance, you're not allowed to use an Offensive Attack, Spell, Ability, or any Limit Break, and I just did all of those. So I, I did sacrifice my um, stacks with Sephiroth to pretend that we got Retaliation Stance, and it was totally worth it. I'm just going to start restacking Supremacy. She should be in this set for one more turn, I think. Usually, each set, uh, set one's three turns. Third turn in the cycle, she'll do something different. Um, and then set two, two stances, overall the RNG check again. Set three, overall the RNG check again. Uh, I'm going to restack my Supremacy while I have a free turn. She's blinded too, honestly. If this happened earlier, it would have been a lot harder, but now that she's blinded, she's probably missing a lot. This fight's gonna be pretty simple until we get the 19% at this point. Um, I'm just gonna Manitopia with Fina, I think. I don't really know what to do with Fina. I'll Manitopia, it should be fine. And then Lid, um, I'm gonna gamble with Lid and we're gonna do a downer bomb. We're going to do a gamble. I love gambling with Downer Bomb. Boom, magic. Cool. Hexa Slash Fury. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, um, you're supposed to guard and I didn't guard. It's a good thing I had my re-raise up because I did not guard. So we don't have a tank for this. So we're going to seal light. We're going to make sure we seal light. Um, I need the limit break with Lib for sure. Uh, we just RNG really good there because we can actually seal light with Sephiroth. Unfortunate. And we're going to use his limit break this turn too. Boom, one winged angel. We're going to boost light resistance. Actually, it should boost soulful stance and impregnable stance to make Fina do light resistance. Hmm, that's a good point. Maybe do light resistance and impregnable stance. Because then we're all going to take light resistance and I have no tank up and I'll just re-raise it, Fina. 
And then next turn we should get our Seagirt back and he can start tanking stuff for us. She's gonna counter here with AoE light damage, I believe. We had light resistance up, thankfully. We have our Seagirt back. Um, what is she doing here? We need to do fire or ice damage now. So we're gonna AT chain with the Sephiroths. We're gonna restack all this. What a messy run with Sephiroth. But as you can see, if you make some mistakes, it's fine. You can just recover. Pretty simple. I think everyone died, right? Yeah. We need to do ice damage with somebody on the team. Uh, I think Fina can do that. We can throw an item with Fina for the ice damage. We're gonna do Soulful and Impregnable to get everybody's buffs up. I think we just broke with Lid. Uh, yeah, we just broke with Lid. We're fine. Great, so we're restacking AT, AT stacks. We can super wink with C card. Um, what can Fina do? Fina's sealing ice. I did not get Lid's limit break. So Fina's gonna seal ice and we might do super analysis with Lid here. Yeah, we're in a super analysis with Lid. And that'll re-break her. Oh, you can see how much HP she got left. Interesting. Didn't notice that before. Lady Mashura, he's auto-provoked, so he should be taking all that. Electrify water stance. Someone needs to do water damage here. I think we should be able to do that fine with Nicole. I'll do a cheap, cheap costing water gem. Lake can limit break. Should be fine. We're gonna AT chain with the Sephiroth. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is gone. I was streaming like all day yesterday. We did not push a threshold. That's good and bad. Um, should be fine though. As long as she doesn't go into set two again, I think we're, I think we're good. We're gonna limit break with Lid. And we revive with Fina. When we do push the threshold, my secret's automatically gonna die, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's just nothing I can do about it. He's just gonna die. Monic Aqua Flash. Hopefully, I'm not very comfortable. Hopefully, um, she didn't do set two. If she did set two, that'll be very unfortunate. Looks like she re-rolled set three. We can do lightning or water, but we're gonna push thresholds. So after we push this threshold in particular, uh, we're gonna get a free turn. And then the turn after, my Seagirt's gonna be dead. So this is one free turn right now. Um, kinda wanna save Heroic and Barrier Stance for the next turn. I'm just gonna do Soulful and Impregnable, make sure I have some mitigations. We did both espers. Um, we need a break for the following turn. Lid should be able to get a break. Fina is going to put up some fire resistance for everybody. Seagirt's going to do his... I don't know what Seagirt does here. Um, he could just defend. And then I think... I'm gonna do super mention with lid here because we should have breaks up, right? I think we have breaks up. Yeah, we're good. Should we get lid to recover some MP? So this is the hard part after this one. She did ventral stance. She puts up permanent mitigations here. We're um our breaks are gonna fall off. That is unfortunate. Maybe I dispel with Nicole. Everyone has re-raise up. Hold up. Let me see what we can do here. We can dispel with Fiend, actually. My tank's dead. There's nothing I can do about it. Tank just dies. Um, I think I just re-raise... Um, someone. I'll re-raise Fina. I'll just do that. Sure. So I should have dispelled the boss. Don't have any break right now. We have no break. And Seagirt's gonna automatically die. Seagirt's gonna fall over and die no matter what we do. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to I'm gonna make a big push here. I'm gonna use barrier stance, heroic stance. And I'm not gonna AT chain. I'm gonna heaven's whip chain and then the following turn we're gonna AT chain. So we need that imperil lock. We definitely need that imperil. And honestly, I'm probably gonna do Howling Moon with C card. Because that will put some of eight on my units and it might help out. And then the following turn, we're gonna do an AT chain. So Lake got her limit break. That was like best case scenario, honestly. And Lid's gonna do her limit break. So in this phase, phase two is basically like a berserk mode. Um, it's gonna be really, really tough if you can't. Um, it's gonna be really tough because the tank automatically dies. She dispels the tank and he dies. And this is gonna be really tough if you can't burst the. And the other reason why it's tough is <laughs> she just just gets extra stuff like basically every turn. Um. Yeah, it's really it's a really tough turn. So I need to get some peeps up. We're gonna supremacy chain right away as well. But Sephiroth never died, so we still contain his stacks and he contained his buffs. So ideally I get my tank up at the very minimum. And somehow I get a re-raise up. We, we do have breaks up, so Lake could throw a Phoenix down on my tank. And then I could throw an AoE re-raise up. That would be best case scenario, honestly. And we're gonna AT chain and see how much damage we can do. Okay, so 8%. We can definitely kill it next turn. Um, I'm definitely gonna need to raise the tank. Because we're we're gonna lose our fire buff, aren't we? We're gonna lose my AT stacks. We're gonna lose everything here. Everything is now lost. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Fina's cooldown. Restore H, restore HP from all allies and cast one time auto revive on all allies. So that should restore Seagirt to full as Fina's cooldown. And then um, we're gonna do Nicole's limit break as well. So I do not have a cover up, but we have an AOE re-raise and we have at the very least an auto provoke tank. <laughs> it's going to be a tough turn, I think. Oh wait, she just did mostly single target damage actually. Okay, so it seems like phase two is mostly single target damage, except for the goddess flame slash stuff. Oh, I see. Oh, there's actually a really good tip here. So it says after six casts of the goddess blade goddess flame slash However, it will be delayed a turn if hell contamination was used earlier and hell contamination was the thing that killed our tank So phase two is not even that bad that I thought it was it's not as bad as what I thought it was I could probably just try and kill it here We have all the missions so pew 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 Let's go AT chains boom we win as long as you have an auto provoke tank and can get your tank up in phase two, you win. I thought it was way harder. Easy, GG. Cool. Thanks for watching YouTube. I'm going to try and get a different video with my two Bs up. But that was a pretty cool clear with Sephiroth. It wasn't the cleanest clear. Um, and I was really tired today. Did a 12 hour stream yesterday. But that's my, that's my clear video for now. And I'll try and get a 2B video one up later. And I will post the FFB builder for my team in the description in the morning. Uh, when I get the video up. So thanks for hanging out YouTube. Peace out and I'll see you next time.